Super Dave here for another review. It's Super Dave here with another exciting review. A review of a Masters of the Universe character from the uh, adventures, the new adventures of He-Man, the Galactic Protectors that I never really thought I would own, but I'm really excited about. He's very interesting looking, kind of in comparison a little bit to Ram Man. And that's right, we're talking about Tuscador. Now look at this huge box. And let me just give you a comparison which will grab Loki and Cal box here, which we'll be doing a review. But look at this. Look at the difference in the size of the box. Wow. So you see that. But let's break open this guy here right quick. And let's just check him out here. And let's just get an idea, too, of the mass of Tuscador. Here he comes. Wow. Look at there. Wow, massive. Isn't that amazing? And to give us a comparison to see just how huge this packaging is, I still have Castaspella in the package. So let's just look here. Look at the difference. Even bigger, I believe, than the Ram Man packaging by a little bit. Wow. All right. It's amazing. So let's check that out right here i just had to dig out the packaging and just check it out as far as ram man is concerned and here it is there's the package so as far as height they're about the same in package but check this out tuscador's package is much thicker by about half an inch thicker so pretty impressive it says collector's choice on the side there and uh, you see it says Cus Tuscador, Mighty Tusk Galactic Guardian figure. You see the Galactic Protector insignia on the front. There is the figure inside. You see the extra tusks back there. There's large tusks in the background. And then the smaller ones up front. So there's just a lot going on there. And uh, then on the back, you see, you see some other selling points. And no bio card. But here's the bio card. I'm putting it up now. You can read that if you like. Made by Super 7. And then they also have one by that unofficial group that you can find on He-Man.org. And you can also search it on Pinterest as well. All right. Let's take a look at this guy out of the package and check him out. This Galactic Protector. All right. So here's our Tuscador figure out of the package. And he is massive. He's heavy. He is very uh, just well built, a durable beast. I mean, this guy is probably the largest, with the exception of Titus. Um, he is probably the largest Masters of the Universe figure that I own. I'm trying to think. Um, other than, of course, Titus, other than Titus and Granamir, this is the largest. And he is huge. He's tall. We'll look at some care, some comparisons. He's thick. He's heavy. He's very well built. He's amazing. And we'll be looking at his articulation here in just a few moments. And of course, be getting some poses. This guy's amazing. Uh, I, this guy's not hard to find. Uh, he's very. He's relatively inexpensive. I know the new adventures of He-Man. It was not a very big hit so there may be less of a demand for these characters i'm actually not a big fan of the new adventures of he-man either but i'm actually going to use him in the original i know some may not like this but in my movies when i do my diorama diorama movies when i get to he-man i'm still on king grayskull still with his backstory but i'm going to be using this guy in with the regular he-man uh, franchise and uh probably you know include space travel and do some some technological things like that but I'm going to be including him in kind of the original Masters of the Universe story when I get to this guy so um, when I get to He-Man so I'm, I'm excited about using him in that way um, 
and I think he'll be cool. I think he'll be a good addition. So let's take a look at his accessories. Let me just mention one thing off the top because this is really good. He has a removable helmet and a very unique head sculpt there. I think this is really neat. I think that's a uh, uh, excellent job that they did here on this character as far as his head sculpt and uh, uh, just a lot of detail in this guy here. A lot of personality, a lot of character. And we'll look at his articulation a little bit. But just wanted to bring that out first thing that this helmet is removable. And you see the little pegs underneath there which allow that helmet to, uh, and there's little places here on the top there that these just peg right back inside. Put his helmet back on. So he's a pilot of a, several starships. Uh, even says in the unofficial uh, bio card that he had his own starship. And then the, the uh, Super 7 kind of official bio card, it said that he had piloted the Eternian starship and then another different starship. So he's a, he's a pilot. That's interesting. He's also very good with technology and with equipment because he actually built this armament himself. He built this and created this that he's wearing that allows, and he's also very strong as you can see. He's jacked. Look at all those muscles of veins popping out there. He is, he's very strong. Of course, those are a reuse of uh, Ram Man's arms. Even got the peg hole there in uh, that right hand there. So uh, you see uh, that, and there's some other parts used too, but a lot of this lower part is brand new, and uh, of course this armament is, so it's really neat. So let's look at his accessories. First thing that we will take a look at, because this is independent, we can look at this very quickly, is this neat ivory colored, almost pearl shaded gun. It may not be able to tell that in the uh, picture, but it has kind of a pearl, almost, you know, shimmer to it, uh, kind of like the tusks that we'll look at in a moment. So he's got this laser cannon or this pistol type, uh, which of course fits right in to the pegged hand. And we'll look at that more when we get into poses. It fits right in there. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and bring him back in the picture because the rest of these uh, accessories, including the helmet like we were showing you earlier, require Tuscador to be in the picture because the first accessory set of tusks are these small tusks and they also have that shimmery pearl almost ivory uh, you know little shine to it and uh, they peg right into this armor on the front they pop right into place and uh, just like it says in one of those bio cards they are rotating. They are able to rotate. He's able to lift things almost like a, you know, a, a self-contained uh, forklift here. He can lift things. He can also pry open doors. He can attack enemies. Um, he's so strong it said he could lift somebody that's like really heavy. I forget who it said it was. You can read that. Uh, I mean, there's just a lot of things he can do with the power of these tusks. He can also break through barriers. I guess if they can't get Ram Man through a barrier, they could always use Tuscador. Now, when he was younger, he sold weapons. He was a merchant. He sold weapons to the bad guys, um, the Debrians or something like that. And uh, he uh, wanted to, he, he joined He-Man's forces and is a good guy now, a galactic protector. So he is uh, trying to make recompense for his youthful errors. <laughs> so he's a good guy. So let's check out the next accessory. And just while I'm removing these, I will tell you that this other armor, shoulder pad armor here, up here, and all this, this is all non-removable. Now those are attached to the arm. We'll look at more when we get to the articulation. But none of this other than the helmet is, is removable. This is all attached to him. Um, it, it cannot be taken off so all of that bulk and including this these tusk things they cannot be removed might want to be informed of that all right so the next accessory are these humongous tusks like this and um, I'm going to assume that this one 
goes on the right side here. Let's try that out. Okay, and then this one for the left. And you can see now, now he has the huge um, tusks included, which I guess you could, I mean, you know, swap them out depending on what you're trying to accomplish there. So if you swap them out and put them around the other way, they peg right in. You could twist them outward so that you could, you know, get a, a wider attack maybe of your enemies and also bend them in to uh, even grab, you know, maybe something that would be something you could lift that way and, uh, and then attack, like again, a barricade or something getting through. So you got those huge tucks that come way out. I mean, look how far they extend out. We'll measure those in the re review booth. But that's just amazing. I mean, he he is just absolutely amazing. The the ability there that he has to, to his range there. That's just unreal. Check it out. And again, you can turn those in that way. Now, let me swap them out one more time just to give you one more idea. It's wild. Okay. So there you have it. Tuscador with the extendable tusks. So, you know, you could probably even exchange one of these and say, you know, okay, one of them extends out to attack while the other one's still normal size because it supposedly, you know, kind of has the ability, the technology to extend out. And uh, so he could have one short one and one long one if he wanted to. And then he could just have them completely um, not in at all. And one of the things I thought was kind of neat, now this is just me, uh, couldn't they, if they're not being tusk extenders, couldn't they be cannons? So they could be some guns on uh, built into this helmet armor that he has. Really cool. So let's go over to review booth and check out his articulation and get some poses of this big guy. And of course some comparisons. All right, here we are looking at our Tuscador. And we have Fisto, Man-at-Arms, Mechanic, Ram Man, and Mara with us here in our special technological lab underneath Castle Grayskull as uh, one of the places where they uh, work and figure out things on their computers and different things. So we're looking at this guy who is also tech savvy and uh, very good at building technology. He again made his armor he's wearing there. So let's take a look at his uh, articulation first and we're going to remove this helmet to start off with so that we can do that. One of the things that I noticed that was very interesting about this guy is he has a mole on his chin. Uh, very intentional there is pretty cool detail. He has a mole on his chin and uh, that's neat but uh, his he can look up quite a bit that's very good. He can look down Quite a bit kind of has his own little thing there kind of like man at arms a little a little thing there and uh, then he can of course look side to side and 360 all the way around and he can even get some attitude some tilting some pivoting there to get some really good uh, poses and I just want to see if I can get a close-up of this face skull look at the details the wrinkles just the overall uh, you know, it's really cool. I think he, he's got a really neat expression. And uh, I like him. I like his head. I think it's a really cool look. He's got that almost technological looking uh, cap underneath his helmet. It's almost like maybe like his brain waves are red so that his uh, suit does what he thinks or what he speaks inside of his little... Uh, mouth guard thing here you know there's all kinds of possibilities but that's cool it's like it's wrapping around tight against his head reading his brain pattern so that when he thinks his suit responds that's a pretty cool idea anyway but like his face 
and his head articulation. Really neat. Now I haven't checked to see. Let's see. Can't see. Yep, it will pop off. So you can pop off that head. I don't know why you would, but you can just so that you know that that is a possibility in case you wanted for some reason to swap out his head onto another body of some sort kind of uh, later on. All right, so that's his head articulation. Now all of this is a solid piece, like we said, that does not remove, it does not come off. There's all this big gold section here, but then his arms here, he can go full 360 with those arms. Those uh, rotate without restriction, but he doesn't, he's not going to get a whole lot in the realm of of going up on his side. This, this hits up against those barrels and so he's not going to be able to move his arms upward like a lot of your masters but you do have bicep swivel. You can see that underneath there. It's not going to go out fully because the girth of his bicep hits this guard here so he's not going to be able to get a lot more than that. He is able to go up there a little bit and you can of course swivel his side a little bit and you can see you know get some poses there on that uh, realm, but there's not a whole lot he's going to be able to do uh, as far as arm motion outward uh, and even bicep swivel. That's the, about the extent again on this side as well. It hits right here, uh, but he can go up. You might can twist that a little bit more, get a punch type pose, you know, like that. That's cool. You can, you can swivel that bicep once you get it past that barrel a little bit so you can get you know some poses there but that's that's about it so there's some restriction there just because of the armor this one seems to go out and in a little bit better for some reason and you see that is that that's soft I mean that lifts but it will not come off it's glued on I guess or it's molded in um, then he does have ab crunch, not very much, kind of like Ram Man. He doesn't crunch forward too much, but he does have that ability there. He does have the ab crunch ability. Look at the detail on this, detail of the technology on his back, the part of this armor. Really neat. So you can see how all these gears and things kind of work, I guess, with the tusks. Or like I said earlier, you could even pretend that these are cannons that could shoot out too. Uh, besides the tusk ability and feature. All right, he does have side swivel here. I thought it was interesting he's got a place here and I think that may go, we'll look in a minute where he can put his gun, but we'll look at that in a second. But he has a little loop on his belt here. Some neat details notched in and even some metallics uh, blue around his midsection here. Again, you can see that tunic of Ram Man where they reused that part. But all this lower part is new. Matter of fact, notice here his legs has uh, you know that big section right in there, and that swivels, and then he swivels at the knee, and check this out, and swivels at the boot. So he swivels at the knee and swivels at the boot. So that's an interesting feature there. Of course, he's got single jointed knees there. And it looks like they may have reused some parts of the Ram Man boot, but then they added this big plastic guard piece to give it a more of a, you know, futuristic kind of spacey look. But those legs will go all the way out to the side, unlike Ram Man because of his skirt, so that's different. But uh, there is that thigh swivel, knee swivel, boot swivel, and then as far as articulation on this foot here, you can get pretty good range of motion back, not much up because it hits that guard, but very little in rocker. But then over here, he gets back, and then not much forward, and then quite a bit get a little bit more of a loose of looser rocker on side to side on this guy and it doesn't really stay but you can pivot that some so that's that's good to know and so uh, that's about it you get you have the side feature he can go forward and backwards which is going to help with your tusks his head has excellent range of motion you could almost get in that ram man pose kind of like that but uh 
but overall this guy is a new featured character I mean he he may have some Ram Man esque features as we see but overall this guy you know sports some unique to himself features now before we plug in his accessories let me just show you because that's the uh, pardon the pun here kind of <laughs> the joke elephant in the room <laughs> tusks elephant <laughs> All right, and his feet are a little bit hard to get him to stand sometime. Just mention that. All right, Mara, excuse us here if you'll stand to the side, your boyfriend there, just for a minute. I want you to just notice how much taller Tuscador is from Ram Man here. Because a lot of times, or, and even I thought until I saw this guy in person, that, that they would probably be about the same size but they are not at all all right so let's measure these guys side by side here so ram man as we have looked at in our ram man review and you can go check him out but uh, he measures in just under seven inches six and and three quarters and then our tuscador character here measures in right under eight inches almost an inch taller right at seven and three quarters so you see the difference there a lot taller and most of that is in his leg area possibly even some of his pelvic areas too his pelvis uh, area section I'm not sure but uh, He's definitely taller. And then of course his body armor up top too that elevates his head up, up higher. So uh, may share arms and, and some details in his, uh, his uh, you know, midsection there. But as far as his shoulders and his legs, uh, there's a lot new going on there. And of course that body armor. So he's almost an inch taller than our Ram Man. All right, let's look at him with his accessories and then we'll do some more size comparisons with some of the other guys. All right, so here's our Tuscador with his first set of tusks on, and you see how nice that looks. They come, they protrude right out there just by plugging them in. Makes it look like an action feature. And then, of course, voila, look at the gun. That little loop is what uh, is, that little loop does hold that laser gun, that little laser cannon that he comes with. So that's really nifty. That looks seamless, looks very nice to be able to holster that on his sides. I really really like that that's really cool but there you have it you have uh, that first set of tusks there now one of the things that's also a really cool feature is that you can take these first set of tusks here and you can plug them up underneath that section back here and if you don't want those tusks showing on the front have that plain more plain look look you can store those smaller tusks in his back section there so that is really cool too so let's take a look at that Tuscador his front cannons he's got he said I'm, I'm going to use these as cannons let's go ahead and take off his helmet there for a second matter of fact let's get this looking cool here See if we can do a little helmet hold scenario here. There we go. He's holding his helmet. He's got his tusks, his front, his smaller set of tusks in his back there. Really cool. Of course, he wouldn't be able to sit down with that. <laughs> but uh, he could certainly look cool though going into battle looking like that. Just an excellent looking action figure all around there with that kind of. He's got his laser cannon there and his holster. His front tusks there, so that's just really cool. All right, let's put his helmet back on here and let's take a look at the larger tusks. Okay, so Fisto's holding those for us here, so we're going to take them out of this uh, crate here where they've been working on that stuff. Let's go ahead and plug them in this way first, see how it looks. All right, let's go. There we go. That's better. Get a front on look there of him. See if we can rotate him without knocking him over here. 
think he's going to hit some of our guys over there. No, he just does miss uh, man at arms. But there he is. I mean, he's got those tusks coming out there. So he's got the ability to experiment as they protrude. Now, I guess in a way, it would kind of defeat the purpose to have those smaller ones because technically those smaller ones are supposed to be the same ones just protruding out is the concept there but just showing you how you can plug everything in together here and just for uh, the heck of correction here making it right I'll just go ahead and remove these from the back there and plug them and just let you see there there we go that probably helps balance it a little better too but there you go there you have it so to measure just how far out he reaches here Let's start out with the back of his back panel all the way to the front of those tusks, even to the curved out, the furthest area there reaches to about nine inches, right at nine inches. Now, if we um, measure just the tusk itself, you're looking more at about five and three fourths, five and five inches, three fourths. But um, that shows you how wide or how far out he reaches when he has those tusks from the side there. All right, let's go get some pictures of this bad boy and check out some cool poses with our Tuscador. We'll also do some more size comparisons. See you in a moment. All right, let's see how our Tuscador measures up against some other characters in our line of Masters of the Universe and maybe even a few other types of characters. First of all, let's look at King Grayskull. You see how he measures up here in the, the uh, size comparison. Tuscador is, of course, taller. And then you see him beside Snout Spout. Now, one thing that's really interesting to note about our Tuscador figure is if you look very carefully, of course you have the tusks, but you almost in this little cupped mouthpiece in front of Tuscador's face, almost looks like a snout coming down here, if you notice that. Let me zero in on that just for a second so you can see what I'm talking about. That looks like a snout to me uh, off of an elephant. So that's going along with that uh, whole idea, I think, of the, uh, uh, you know, tusks and elephant idea there. And by the way, that's my version of Snout Spout because I thought he looked cool that way with the cape and with strong arm, strong oars, strong arm. <laughs> there he is beside Cyclone. And there he is beside Mechanic, even with his neck extended with, for the first tier of height, um, Mechanic just does reach above the height of our Tuscador. So that gives you an idea of just how tall this big guy is. And here's Tuscador beside Darius, our weapon master, which these guys would have probably worked together on some projects as they're both good with their hands and technology. And by the way, Snout uh, Spout was wearing Darius's cape because <laughs> I think it looks better on him. Kind of like Darius without the cape anyway. And then just for fun, here's our Tuscador beside Battle Cat Man. And I've got him hunched over a little bit because he's in kind of an attack pose, but there's Battle Cat Man besides, beside Tuscador. And of course you have to have He-Man size comparison there. And He-Man's pretty impressed with Tuscador's size and strength and tusks, but he's still not stronger than He-Man. And the guardian of the star seed himself, Procrustus, 
he's probably the only figure in the Masters of the Universe world here in our collection, as far as Motu anyway, and Granomir of course, the dragon, that's taller by itself just on two legs, not counting Mechanic's neck stretch, the, that's bigger than Tuscador. And for fun, finally, our Juggernaut. Wow, that's pretty impressive size comparison. They're almost close to the same size. Juggernaut, I believe our Juggernaut has him by a little bit there. But there are some size comparisons there. I don't know. These two guys, you know, if they went at it, not so sure if these guys went at it, who would actually win, but they don't quite look eye to eye, but it's not too far off there. Cer certainly a closer match than what our Ram Man was, that's for sure. All right, so there's just a few comparisons. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy my reviews. I'm gonna have to stop doing reviews so I can get back to my diorama movies because I just simply don't have time to do both but I have really gotten into these reviews and I have fun with them so <laughs> what makes it fun right and uh, as a hobby but I will get back to the movies I've already been spinning my wheels trying to think of the next chapter but thank you so much like subscribe share and comment below who would you like to see reviewed next thank you for watching